everybody and welcome to another edition of Wednesday's Reflexology Wisdom. And we're going to do a new series and we're going to do alternative ways of working reflex points. And so today we are going to do three ways to work the diaphragm. Now also, the more observant of you will probably recognize that these are not Nandina's feet because uh, I am some I think it's about 4,000 miles away from the UK at the moment. We're in California. Uh, we're actually in Los Angeles. And these feet belong to the wonderful Stephanie Sabunchian, um, who has been hosting me while I've been doing some finger-free reflexology over here. Um, so I am very, very, very happy to be working on Stephanie's feet. And for those of you that don't know Stephanie, um, she does the most amazing reflexology courses and um, She's going to be coming back over in the spring to teach uh, auricular reflexology in the Midlands. And we're also going to see, uh, it's going to be an advanced class, and we're also going to see if we can get her, try and persuade her to do a beginner's class down in the southeast of England as well. So anyway, no more waffle. Let's get on with the feet. Okay, so what we're going to do to start with, we are going to do a classic thumb walk. Um, first thing I just want to point out is if you are going to be working flat against the diaphragm, you're actually not going to be working on the diaphragm much at all. You're probably going to be working more actually on the liver than the diaphragm itself. The diaphragm you want to be pushing up underneath the heads of the metatarsal bones. So you actually are activating the diaphragm reflex. So you want to be working up like this. Stephanie, uh, by the way, let's just see, can you tell the difference? So I'm just working like this. Uh, working the flat and now exactly the same place but pushing up can you tell the difference oh yeah it's much different okay jolly good that's the right answer I'll pay you later so we're going to work the diaphragm pushing up up what I'm also doing is I have got my holding hand quite high up the dorsal aspect of the foot and my holding, my, my working hand fingers are actually on top of my holding hand fingers. Um, so it's only one point of contact that Stephanie is feeling. If I were to remove my holding hand and now do it, does that feel much the same, Stephanie, or does it feel a bit confusing because you've got pressure both sides? Yeah. Ah, right. Okay. <laughs> excellent. She's giggling away. That's an excellent sign. Let's put the holding hand back where it should be. So we would do that three times. Let's come back now. So we're going to work back across the diaphragm, pushing up. And you can see I've still now got my working hand fingers on my holding hand fingers. I know it does sound a bit confusing, but I'm sure you can see what I mean. So we would do that three times. Now we're going to do a slightly different take on this technique. And what we're going to do is we're going to add leverage into the technique. So it's still thumb on the diaphragm, still the thumb walk, but we're going to lever the foot onto the thumb as we work. Now I'm doing this in slow motion at the moment so you can see what I'm talking about and I am now going to go full speed. So push, push, push. Now can you feel the difference Stephanie? It's much firmer. Much firmer. Okay, excellent. Now there is a job that Stephanie has got to do. She doesn't know about this yet but I'm going to ask Stephanie to make a decision on which of the three techniques she likes the best. So Stephanie, keep a mental note. You've already had style one, classic thumb walk, which did it feel okay, by the way? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very and nice. Now what, what we're doing, by the way, so I'm coming back, is we're levering the foot the other way. You can see that I'm sort of moving my wrist and my hand with the holding hand here onto my working thumb. Okay. Now we're going to do the next style. So, style three. I've got my holding hand in exactly the same place. 
but my working thumb is going to be at a completely different angle. Instead of it being in the standard thumb walking position, it's going to be straight up. I am also not going to be bending my thumb. All of the action comes from the leverage this time, rather than from either thumb walking or a combination of the two. And we're just going to flex the foot down. It's going to slightly um, move the camera so that you can see what I'm talking about uh, as far as flexing the foot down. We're going to come around to the side a little bit here. So it's a case of flexing the foot down like this. Not the toes, because we don't want to do that. It's just going to be flexing the foot itself, the pad of the foot. Okay, it's going to come right where we want it. Lovely. So, thumb underneath the head of the metatarsals, and we're just going to flex down. I'm not going to allow my thumb to be moved down by the flex so that the diaphragm actually gets all of that lovely pressure from the thumb. Now this actually, even though I'm doing it slow, is pretty much the kind of speed you want to be doing this technique at, so that you can really feel the reflexes activating. So can you feel the difference, Stephanie? Yes, it feels like a wave. A wave! Ooh, I like this. Do you know what? You're a jolly good client to work on, you know. <laughs> so, okay, so you've had all three. We would come back the same way, keeping the thumb going straight up, flexing down, flexing down, flexing down, flexing down. Of course, we would work that three times. So, the vote is going to get cast. Okay then, Stephanie, so you've had all three styles. It was pretty obvious that you were noticing some differences. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so the vote is style one, style two, or style three. Can I say first, actually they all felt really good. Oh! But my vote goes to number three. Number three. Mm -hmm. Okay, tell me why. As I said earlier, it felt like a wave mm -hmm. and it felt very thorough and I started even more breathing a little bit deeper uh, and it felt very relaxing, very thorough and very relaxing. Excellent. Brilliant. We can't ask for more than that. That sounds great. So guys, there you go. Three ways to work the diaphragm. And I hope you've enjoyed this. We're going to be doing another episode. Next week, we're going to be doing it in a different location. And we're going to be doing this with the wonderful Chantelle Lucier. Uh, different ways of working certain reflexes. You're going to be finding out what they are when you come and watch. There you go. This, you've got to come and watch it again. And thank you so much for watching uh, Wednesday's Reflexology. And until then, stay well and stay safe.